Can you guys make me understand, uh, can you help me with this? Who makes experimental balloons in their backyard and flies them? And what is an exper experimental balloon? I mean, I know, I know the Navy uses them, I know the Air Force uses them, and I've certainly read all the stories about the problems in New Mexico and all the theories about that, but uh, I've never heard of someone just building one of these in their backyard. Uh, uh, um, um, can somebody help me? You know what? Rick, I... we're, we're, you know, I, I think that we'd have to talk to, to the parents about that. I mean, think about how many people like to build things. I mean, whether it's vehicles, whether it's balloons. I, I mean, it's very possible. I mean, we need to get a background Did... on this family, the parents. And I mean, this could have been something that they were having fun with. I'm being told 400 feet now, by the way, 400 feet from the ground, possibly a six year old boy in this balloon that was tethered in the backyard of somebody's home. Uh, in on Fossil Ridge Road in Fort Collins, Colorado. Rick asking, why? Why even have this? You know, it could be I, a, a curious family. That this was their joy ride. This was their fun. For those of you joining us now, many of you just now getting home and looking at these images, it's uh, certainly a haunting situation as we've been following it now for about one hour and four minutes since we since we first got the uh, reports and the pictures of this. It's a six-year-old boy who is inside an experimental balloon that according to all reports as far as we know was uh, being uh, made or had been made by his parents and we have just been told this thing is now down to 300 feet now it's at 100 feet let's us all take a deep breath if you uh, if you are predisposed to do so and you want to say a little prayer you might want to do so now because this six-year-old boy is about 100 feet from the ground let, let's and be let's clear, we hope. still don't know. We still don't know. There are reports uh, that he may not be in there, and we are not going to show impact. We will be on a delay. But it looks like it's coming down quite softly. There's a man coming down you know to what? it now. He's yep, grabbing there we it. Go. We're trying to find out. And in a moment, we're going to see right now if indeed there is somebody and inside that balloon. Away. And don't let it fly away again. A big gust of wind. All right, it's come down. We've all been holding our breath for about an hour now, trying to figure out if indeed a six-year-old boy is inside that balloon. You can see sheriff's deputies surrounding it, emergency vehicles trying to assess and figure out if indeed anybody is inside that balloon. We're going to know within seconds, Rick. And by the way, I don't know if you noticed, but as it was flying, there was a uh, rope or a tether that was hanging off of it. Uh, I'm sure by now, for those of you worried that this thing could be flying away again at some point, that it's probably already been held. That tether, that line has probably been secured by these officials. And as you can see, they're now all having their fingers crossed that the boy is in there and is okay and they're didn't calling fall out. down and didn't fall out of it, as uh, was reported by one of his siblings earlier, which might be even more difficult or more dangerous for him. Well, and the question is, if he fell out of that uh, balloon, uh, Rick, you know, where is he? Did he get out uh, in time to where he's okay, or is he someplace else and yeah. nobody knows where he is yet? They're not approaching uh, the balloon, getting close mm. to the door. They're staying away from it. They're calling to it. They're, it looks like they're calling for somebody's name. They've now uh, getting shovels out. It looks like they're going to put some weight on the back of that balloon so it's not going to fly away. Digging dirt, putting weight on the back of the balloon so it won't take off again. Uh, but I'm trying to figure out where is the door where possibly he got inside of that balloon? And, and if indeed he is inside, is he there on the bottom uh, of the Mylar balloon? I'll tell you, this is one of those stories that really will tell itself shortly here. The picture is about Rick, to I don't know if anybody's in there. Describe I, it for they'd us. They'd be going right in. I'll tell you, it's, it's, it, you can only hope he's in there, but right now I, I have not seen them go in and uh, I have not seen them go in and get the little boy out. It doesn't even look like they're making an effort to die. I'm confused. Well, because it doesn't, you know what I also haven't seen, to be honest with you, I haven't seen them go in and check yet. Um, let's stay on the picture as much as we possibly can. We certainly thank our affiliates for providing us with this picture. Now you see a guy, now you see him taking the helium, they're popping the balloon. There you go again. They're popping the balloon, removing whatever helium is left inside. Um, but, you know, I know what you all are thinking. I mean, to heck with the balloon. Where's that little boy and what well, happened to that little boy? Which leads me or to believe, or not? Is, there, is there a little boy in there or not? We're getting information from one of my producers. You were asking about the family, Rick. Yeah. Apparently, Dad is a weather chaser. Um, that uh, he lives in Colorado. Uh, his dad has had a fascination. Uh, he's a contractor and a retired weatherman, and uh, he's had a tremendous 
uh, or interest in chasing weather and uh, experimenting with things like this. This is to the Denver Post coming hmm. through. My producer just sent it to me. Yeah, there we and, go. And We're bringing it up right now. There it is online with the Denver Post. Okay, Rick, I don't think there's a little boy in that balloon. They've 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 tore right, they've right, and we should taken and, and, it apart. And we should probably say for that reason, we're we're looking at the article here in front of us, and we have the little boy, we have the father's name, but uh, we don't think it would be prudent at this point to release the information about his father, other than what we just read to you from the Denver Post, and that is that his father is uh, an avid weather chaser. Um, given the fact that it appears that the boy may have fallen out of the balloon, if in fact he's not found there, which is what one of his siblings has said, then I'm sure you understand why we're going to withhold that information until officials tell us it would be the correct time to do so. If in case there is an issue here, we want the family to be notified before we announce it on national television. But we do want to point out, um, there you see some deputies, they folded over the balloon, they folded over that basket there. Um, there you don't see medics um, going through that balloon. I mean, do you see any paramedics? Do you see anybody? Um, they're, they're taking the balloon apart now, looking inside. They've completely got the helium out of that balloon so far right now. Uh, by the way, we got, we got a guest uh, standing by now who's uh, uh, an expert on uh, these type of experimental balloons. Dan Hess uh, is joining us. Mr. Hess, are you, you, Mr. Hess, are you there, sir? I'm here. Hey, um, you've been watching this, I imagine, with us for quite some time. Uh, First of all, just give us your take uh, generally before I ask you any specific questions. Well, uh, it's obviously landed, and uh, they've, they've taken the helium out of the aircraft so that it's no longer going to go back into the sky. So we're trying to determine, I'm sure, whether or not the child is aboard. Well, wouldn't we have known already if the child was aboard? I mean, wouldn't we have seen some official take him out of there and carry him to a rescue vehicle? We would hope so. Yeah, and right now we're just seeing uh, cameramen and firefighters and deputies. Uh, I, I mean, there is there are no medics uh, responding uh, to anything right now. Matter of fact, you can see the medics, Rick, in the white shirts, uh, standing away from the balloon. So we don't know yet, but right now, from what mm -hmm. we can see, uh, this this could be uh, a very good uh, ending from this point, but the question is, where's that six-year-old boy? Yeah, that, that's what that's the part of the story that's not the good uh, Sam, uh, Here we let, go. Me, let me... We're getting word from our affiliate. According Hold to on. police, there is no one inside that balloon. Right. KMGH, our affiliate there out of uh, Denver, Colorado, uh, is reporting that police said there is no one inside that balloon. Now the question is, Rick, yeah. where's the six-year-old boy? And what was seemingly obvious to us in pictures is now being confirmed by that report. So now we go to the possibility that something else happened. And let me read to you, sir, uh, expert Hess with us, and let me read to you what they said. I'm going to read it to you one more time, and for the viewers joining us now, this is the report that we received that uh, Kira read about 20 minutes ago. Uh, Margie Martinez of the Weld County Sheriff's Office says that a sibling saw the boy climb into the basket before the balloon took off. Since the door on the balloon was unlocked, Martinez says it's possible the boy had fallen out. Um, that doesn't sound like it's nailed down, but it sounds like at least the report of something that may have happened earlier. We weren't sure. Uh, Mr. Hess, would you describe to us if that is in fact the case? Can you give us a sense of when he fell out, how high this balloon could have been, how dangerous the fall would have been? Can you help us at all? I have, I have no idea other than seeing it in the air. Uh, I believe that if he did get out, he must have gotten out early on or, or else he was uh, distraught or maybe he's hiding under his bed so that his father uh, wouldn't, uh, wouldn't be upset that he let his balloon fly away. How, how fast? You know about these balloons, do you? Yes. How fast, when, when it first took off, filled with helium and it became cut or untethered, how fast was the takeoff? And how soon did it rise to, let's say, uh, 500, 1,000 feet? It's going to go up about as fast as a Ferris wheel is going to take you up and take you up to a 500, 1,000 feet within a minute or two. Uh, as fast as a what, sir? I'm not sure I heard you. A Ferris, Ferris wheel. wheel. If you ride it on an amusement, one of the amusement park, ride it on a Ferris wheel. It just kicks you right up, in other words. Exactly. So, so what we would be hoping for at this point, uh, for the sake of the child, is that the sooner he would have fallen, 
the, 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 the more chances that he would survive that fall.